When Victor Lindelof was signed earlier in the summer, Manchester United fans were rubbing their hands together. It looked like we had a partner for Eric Bailly. Lindelof and Bailly was going to be our starting centre-back partnership this year, but it hasn't worked out that way so far. Three Premier League games in, 10 goals scored, zero conceded. And as good as Eric Bailly has been, arguably his partner, Phil Jones, has been the outstanding centre-back so far this season. A player who for years has had so much potential at Manchester United, but injuries have just marred his progress. Now Gareth Southgate is saying that right now he is the best English centre-back. So I want to know from you guys and girls, who do you think is Manchester United's best centre-back partnership this season? As I said at the start, Phil Jones and Eric Bailly, that is the partnership which is working for Man United. A clean sheet on the opening day of the season against West Ham, followed up by fantastic performance against Swansea. Phil Jones hit the bar as well, probably should have scored. And a clean sheet against Leicester. We've got Stoke City up next. Always a tough trip to the Britannia Stadium or the Bet365 Stadium, whatever you want to call it. A tough trip to Stoke away. But Phil Jones, Fergie once said that he could be the new Duncan Edwards, which was... <laughs> Talking early to say the very, very least. It's been so frustrating, especially last year. There was a period last season where Phil Jones really showed that his potential was coming through and then he got injured yet again. Obviously, Marcus Rojo stepped into the void and Rojo ended up being a fantastic centre-back. So maybe that worked out slightly in United's favour because of how good Rojo was. But Phil Jones, for me, has got a much higher ceiling, potential ceiling, than Chris Smalling. I feel we've seen the best of Chris Smalling in a Manchester United shirt. That year under Louis van Gaal, where I think he was named Players Player of the Year, he was outstanding, hardly put a foot wrong. Obviously he got sent off in the FA Cup final. And red cards, you know, ever since that red card against Manchester City, away, two stupid yellow cards I think it was, I lost faith in Chris Smalling, but he regained my faith in that year under Louis van Gaal. And once a complete full circle again, he's lost my faith completely after a really poor season under Jose Mourinho. And do you think that Chris Smalling should be playing at any point for Man United this season at centre-back? We've certainly got options there. As I said, Victor Lindelof, he was brought in to be Man United's new starting centre-back, a ball-playing Rio Ferdinand-type centre-back to play alongside a no-nonsense, bullish Nemanja Vidic-type centre-back that is Eric Bailly. We all love Eric Bailly. He's aggressive by nature in his style of defending. And someone who's more a little bit more calm and composed like Victor Lindelof looked like it could be the perfect partnership. But Phil Jones has stepped in there. Victor Lindelof will be making his Man United debut against FC Basel in the Champions League. Mourinho has already confirmed this because obviously Phil Jones and Eric Bailly are both suspended. So we'll probably see Lindelof playing alongside Chris Smalling. And I am very excited to see Lindelof there. But aside from these four players, we've still got other options. Marcus Rojo is going to be coming back in, what, December, January time? Rojo was fantastic last year. I'll, be my, I'll put my hands up and say he was the first person I wanted to be sold by Jose Mourinho. But he completely turned his Man United career around. Certainly one of the players that thrived under Mourinho the most. Daley Blind, he obviously can operate as a centre-back. No one really knows what his best position is. But he plays centre-back, left-back, defensive midfielder. He's going to be Man United's John O'Shea, the utility man. He won't be starting as our centre-back. Not when we've got the options of Jones, by Lindelof and Smalling in the squad. And of course... There is Axel Tuanzebe, who has got so much potential. Our former under-18s captain, when he was alongside Roshan Williams, I'll always remember, they went 500 minutes plus without conceding at under-18s level. A fantastic partnership he built there. He is a leader and natural captain at the back. Now, last year, he came on and made his debut against Arsenal, I think it was, played right back. He's also played defensive midfield as well. I think he played that against Spurs. But centre-back is Tuan Zebe's natural position. And I'd like to see him get used there more this season than at right-back or at centre-back. But maybe because Fosu Mensa has gone out on loan, maybe Mourinho sees Tuan Zebe as the backup right-back to Antonio Valencia. I'm not sure. But Man United, as I said, Jones, Bay, Smalling, Vlindelov, Blind, Rojo, Tuan Zebe. We've got seven players there, seven potential centre-backs. Now, I think it's obvious who our starting two centre-backs are at the moment. Jones and Bay, but who would be your starting centre-back partnership for this season? Who do you want to see starting as Man United's two centre-backs for the majority of the campaign? Lindelof hasn't really got a look in so far, but he was fantastic against, I think it was Belarus in the international break. Got 90 minutes under his belt. He's just slowly 
slowly becoming accustomed to becoming a Man United player. Takes some players longer than others. Lindelof is a case of one of those. But will you bring him in straight away? And who would you drop him? Who would you drop for him? Jones or Bai? Both are playing so outstandingly well. Will Lindelof just have to sit and wait for his opportunity? As I said, let me know who you think Man United's starting centre-back partnership should be this year. As always, drop a like on the video. Subscribe to United People's TV if you're new. Take it easy.